And number one is not outcast. I'm gonna give y'all a little little clue. <laughs> number one is not outcast. Anyway, let's get to it, bro. Taking it to run the city, no cap rap news, man. You know it is, we're back in the building. This time it's my top five Dungeon Family hip hop albums. These ain't the R&B tracks and shit like that. This ain't the R&B shit. This is the top five hip hop app. My top five. Now you can like it or not like it. Let me know in the comments if you think I got it right or if you think I got it wrong. That's on you. But these are my top five. And number one is not outcast. I'm gonna give y'all a little, little clue. <laughs> Number one is not outcast. Anyway, let's get to it, bro. My number five, still standing by Goody Mob. Y'all can see we got my boy Cujo Goody, we got T Mo, we got Big Gip, we got CeeLo Green. This came out in what, 1998? Man, they got some shit on here, bro. Of course, you know, Black Ice. Touch what I never touched before. Seen what I never seen before. Woke up and seen the sun sky high. Sky high. Yeah, that was hard. What else we got? Fly away. If you don't like why I stay, fly away. That's what I be talking about. They were talking about these New York people coming down south and talking shit. Well, if you don't like it, bro, get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy. But let me tell y'all some of my favorites off of here. The damn. That shit was hard. It still is hard. The damn. What well, beautiful skin is hard. Ghettoology. Hard. What else? Uh... Greeny Green, um, Inshallah, it's just about over. Man, this was a dope, dope album. It was a little bit different from what people was expecting. You know, I, I, I expected, I, I expected it kind of, cause I knew they change up, man. It ain't about you gotta evolve in this music shit. It ain't about just staying the same and keep feeding people regurgitating the same old shit, bro. So, salute the Goody Mob. That was number five. All right, bro, my number four, The Wish Doctor. A SWAT healing ritual. <sighs> Man, this was a dope, dope album because nobody saw it coming, for one. And um, at the time when it was this 97, this was even before that. You know what I'm saying? Dungeon Family was doing their thing, man. They was bringing all different types of style, different type of sounds to the game. Let me see what we got. Oh, man, when they brought this song right here called Holiday Out, this was the first time I heard the the rolling and the you know and the snares and the, the percussion and the and the hi hats and shit like the what it is the thirty two twos on the hi hats and shit like that man. Um, this was the first time I heard it. I think this would created the the brand new sound that the latest sound of Atlanta. I think it started with this sound right here with Holiday. Um, what else on here? The Great Big Lick. Atlanta, that great big lick. Some of my favorites are, uh, what else? Island Koli Kali. Hey, that's a song you and your girl riding out chilling. Play that song when it's about that time. You know what time I'm talking about. Oh, and then hurting. Heaven coming. Man, it's just so much dope shit on here. Wish Doctor, he was more of a spiritual dude. He was more about uh, still street rappers, but um, more spiritual, I say. You know, he spoke about God a lot and whatnot. So let's get at a heart. And y'all, all these albums, bro, y'all go like, share, subscribe, and comment to today's shit too, man. Not just my shit. I need y'all to do it on mine, but support these dudes too, man. These some dope hip-hop albums, bro. Let's see what else we got. All right, bro, my number three is Aquimini by Outkast. I know a lot of y'all looking crazy. Say, man, wait a minute. I thought you said Outkast went on. I didn't say they wouldn't on here. I said they ain't my number one. That's what I said. But this album right here, man, it was uh, a lot of shit going on around this time. 1998 again, bro. 98s to 90s was fire, bro. I don't know. Something's going on in the 90s from like 92 through like goddamn 99. It was just dopeness being unleashed on the world, man, from, from every coast. Not just the South, but from every coast. But this album particularly was a lot of shit going on with Outkast and Andre, man. People was tripping off Dre. You know, I want Big Boy to break up with him and shit saying Andre was gay and he was, you know, he was a genie and doing too much wild shit and I don't know, bro. Uh, we had some fire shit on here, some strong songs, man. A whole different sound again. Um, with Return of the G, you know, they went back gangster with that. Skewed on the Bobby with Ray Corn. They had um, Aquemini, that's one of my favorite songs. And with this song with George Clinton, Synthesizer. 
That's Andre the slept on song, man. And he's he talking with the shit they talking about on there is happening right now today. It's been happening for a minute, but it's still going on today. Pay attention, listen to what's going on, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, Mama Sita. Do it one more time. Shit. Oh. She snapped, she snapped. That's the hardest shit. I can't remember her name, but she snapped though. Ah, uh, who else we got? Y'all, y'all scared. That's hard. Nathaniel. Ooh, liberation, chunky fire. Bro, this was one of my favorite Outcast albums. Again, this mileage, bro. And I appreciate y'all for helping me get to 4,000, bro. We like 15 or 17 away from the 4,000 goal I had set. I appreciate that a whole lot, man. Y'all looking out for your boy, man. I need y'all to like, share. I need more comments and, and shit like that, though. But, you know, YouTube trying to get me out of here. They trying to shadow ban me, man. But I'm still coming. I ain't finna stop, bro. Anyway, what we got next? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Young Tick, Nitty Run the City. You watching No Cap Rap News. First, I'm gonna need y'all to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And also hit that notification bell just so you can be alerted when we post new videos and content. All right, so we back. My number two, number two, top five Dungeon Family Rap albums of all time goes to my dog, Cool Breeze. Each point's greatest hits. Them Calhoun boys. Yes, sir, man. This shit is so slept on and so hard at the same time. You know, Cool Breeze invented the term Dirty South from, from what they've been said from the Soul Food album um, song called Dirty South. But yeah, he invented that term, man. Uh, on this album, there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of dope shit on here, man. From Watch for the Hook with the whole squad on that, the whole Dungeon family on that bitch. Good, good. Uh, Creatine. I got people who. I got people who, yeah, man, what else? Uh, we get crunk with Corrupt. Corrupt went off. That shit hard. Oh, this is my favorite, favorite song on this album. Hit, man. Cool Breeze, Wish Doctor, Backbone. A lot of people be forgetting about Backbone. Backbone was hard, man. Backbone still is hard, man. Salute to Backbone, man. Still bucking like five deuce, four tray. What else we got on here, man? We got our Black Gangster. Black Gangster. Ooh, fire, fire, fire. Go back and check these albums out if you think I'm bullshitting, bro. The Calhouns, that shit was going off too, man. I mean, it was just a bunch of dope, uh, dope shit, man. Again, 1999, see what I'm saying, man? Them, them 90s, something about them 90s, niggas were dropping heat, bro. And although none of this shit sound the same, no album I picked on here sound like the other album. You know what I mean? Sonically. Um, lyric wise or content wise none of that shit really sound the same that would made it dope my nigga and um i really appreciate that type shit all right we're here like i said my number one top five dungeon family hip-hop albums goes to these boys the goody mob i told you it went outcast it's soul food man this this is a hard hard perfect album bro perfect hip-hop album um not to say none outcast shit wouldn't but I knew that was gonna be expected, you know what I mean? I, he was probably gonna expect to see um, Southern Playalistic or AT Aliens on here, but no, nah, man. They got some better doper albums than that, man, that slept on or that don't get the recognition that they deserve. And this is one of them. This is my number one favorite all-time Dungeon Family album. Look, they got shit like the thought process with Andre 3000. He went in on them. The Dirty South, Cool Breeze, see what I'm saying? Cell Therapy, ooh, when Cell Therapy video and song came out, just the tone of that song and the vibe of the video, it was just, niggas had never seen it, had never heard nothing like it before, man. You know, they sampled some fire shit and freaked the sample, and it was it was dope, bro. Came out super hard. Guess who? Sesame Street first. Let's go back to Sesame Street. They just talking about the hood, you know what I'm saying? Living in the hood. Again, with guess who? They're talking about their mama and shit. Giving, giving shouts to their moms and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fighting. Oh, cool. I'm um, not cool breeze. For my boy, Cool Joe Goody got the. It's my favorite Cool Joe Goody verse of all time. It's one of the hardest verses ever. Cool Joe with the fuck in on it. I think it's one of the dopest hip hop verses of ever of all time. Me personally. Um, what else we got? Oh, live at the Omni. One million niggas inside. Y'all need to go back and pay attention, bro, what they talking about, man. They really was 
talking some shit, man. Of course, Soul Food, the title track. Of course. Uh, what else we got? I didn't ask to come. Um, what else we got? The common with the witch doctor. See what I mean? And then what I like about um, the Dungeon Family, bro, everybody played a part. All of them played a part on each other's albums. You see what I'm saying? They got in there and mixed it up. They got in there and held it down for their partners on their label. I don't even think all of them necessarily hung out with each other, but, you know, they was making money together, bro, and one hang, watch the other. I be trying to tell y'all all the, all the time, bro. You know, it ain't about being solo. It's about finding and connecting with people that's moving for the same the same cause as you, man. That's what it's all about. So those are my top five Dungeon Family Hip Hop albums. I'm not going to do an R&B album um, list because, you know, that ain't really my thing. That ain't what we about on this channel. So again, I appreciate y'all for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. For rocking with your boy, Young Tig Nitty. And Soul Food, the Goody Mob is number one. Y'all holler at me next time, man, for the next one. Peace.